Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss about top hat transformation which is very very important image pre-processing stage okay like in case of machine learning we have seen that we can cannot directly put our data for training our model we have to pre-process the data right so similarly in case of image processing directly you cannot apply some image processing techniques on raw image you need to do some pre-processing and in that pre-processing stage this is one of the most important part okay it is mostly used to highlight the light objects in the dark background okay so what is that in mathematical morphology and digital image processing top head transformation is an operation that extracts small elements and details from a given image okay there exist two types of top hat transformation one is white top hat where basically the lighter objects are highlighted over the darker objects and another reverse one is black top hat where the darker objects are highlighted over uh, the lighter objects okay the white top hat is basically image opening by some structuring element and then we subtract from original input image that is the difference in between input image and the opening by some structuring element okay so i am going to discuss about white top hat transformation in my this particular video i will be taking two case studies the detailed explanation is given here in example suppose you are having this particular image and you want to remove these white spots bigger objects white bigger objects and you want to get this kind of structure how you can get that and for example, suppose you are having this kind of structure of bacteria or maybe rice, okay, and you want to get exact binary representation. Like here, you can see that the background is not uniform, okay. Here, if you read clearly, you can understand. The other example is that you have an image under non-uniform illumination and you want to extract objects separately from background. So, if you have background which is non-uniformly illuminated, you want to make background uniform and you want to get the objects, then how you can perform the image pre-processing using top hat transformation that also I am going to discuss. Because suppose you are considering this particular image where the background is non-uniform, you can see that at center point it is lighter and at the boundary it is darker. What will happen if you directly convert to binary, some of the bacteria or rice particles basically will not come like here this particular particle is not coming but if you apply top head transformation you will be getting all of them okay we will go one by one so simple idea i will be discussing no need to worry about that so simple white top head what we have learned it is nothing but image opening and original image difference okay image opening is what erosion followed by dilation like we have seen image closing that is dilation followed by erosion image opening is the reverse thing only that's all so clc clear all close all i equal to im read rise dot png popular rise image i am taking and figure i am so i so if i run this particular code we will be getting this particular image of rice where you can see that the background is non-uniformly illuminated at the center it is lighter and at the end points it is darker where suppose you want to do some operation like count some uh, count how many rice particles are there so before going to that algorithm in the data pre-processing stage we need to have the detection of the rice particles properly that is rice particles should not be uh, confused our algorithm should not get any confusion in between rice particle and background so what we'll do we'll make our background uniform okay so for the time being uh, let me just show you this particular part which i have shown and then i am show i am binarize i so i will be converting our image to binary image okay i am not giving any threshold value matlab will by default take it okay and it will threshold it properly convert to binary image properly if i run this particular part of the code see what is the problem we are getting this is our grayscale image when we are converting this to binary see some of the rice particles are not coming properly like here you can see here in this particular part there is problem in detection here in this particular part here some noise is coming right you can adjust with proper threshold but every time it is not possible right so what you will be doing 
first of all, we will be applying white top hat transparency and that is we will make our background uniform. Okay. So, I will be removing this particular line. No need to worry about any single code. I will be posting all the codes in the description box. So, I am taking one structural element of disk. Okay. And then I am performing I am erode. Okay. And then let me show you the image after erosion. So, what will happen after erosion? As you know, that erosion basically remove all the rice particles. Why? Because it will not fit in our disk structure. Rice particles are thin uh, structures and disk is kind of circular or round type shape. So, it will not fit and it will be rejected. Right? Let us check. So, I will be getting this kind of image where all the rice particles are basically removed. And uh, it basically shrinks the other part also. So, other part we want to keep as it is. So, what I will be doing, I will be converting again to dilation with the same structuring element. So, I am dilation ER, AC and then dilate, dilated image. That is, this image will basically after performing dilation and erosion. Okay, this one. Okay, so this is nothing but image opening. That is, erosion followed by dilation. All right. Then, what I am doing? I am subtracting my original image from the dilated, that is from the image opening, okay, that is erosion followed by dilation, okay, I am subtracting the original one and then I am plotting that using I am show. If I run this particular part, you can clearly see what happened actually. See, previously our background was non-uniform, but due to subtraction, all the background become uniform in nature, uniformly illuminated, okay. So, this is what is white top hat transformation. It basically highlights the lighter object over the dark background. Okay. And now I can apply I am binarized. Okay. So, now I am con binarizing, converting to binary image or original image and as well as the image after top hat transformation. You can clearly understand the difference. Let me run this code. Many images we will be getting, lots of images. We will be checking one by one. First, let me just differentiate all. So, this is my original image. This is image after performing erosion. This is image after performing erosion and dilation, that is after image opening. Now, what we are doing? We are subtracting this opening image from our original image and we are getting this where the background is completely uniformly illuminated. And then, what we are doing? Then simply we are, this is our image after converting to binary image. Okay. Here I have done spelling mistake. I will be posting correct spelling in the description box. No need to worry. Here you can see this is particular binary form of our original image where due to the non-uniform illumination in the background, see some rice particles are not converting to binary image properly. But if you check image after converting to binary image here in this particular case, where this one is basically after performing white top head transformation, you can clearly see all the rice particles are properly detected. So, this is what is basically used uh, the uh, use of the top head transformation in making uniform illumination in the background. That's what is written in the Wikipedia. Okay. So, this is very, very important application of top head transformation that is background equalization. Okay. I hope you have understood this. Now let me close all these images and let me go to next use case. Suppose you are having this particular image and you want to get only the smaller white color objects, not the bigger white color objects. Okay. So now you just think why top head transformation will help us to achieve this one. See, if you apply the structuring element suppose as disk, so as a result what will happen? After performing erosion and dilation, uh, when you are performing er erosion, what will happen? Just try to think. When you are performing erosion, basically this only bigger white objects will fit on our disk. Rest all the small white objects will basically removed. Okay. And what will happen? This particular white objects which will be detected after erosion, those will also shrink. So we will be converting those to original structure using dilation that is image opening will give us basically all these quite bigger objects only then we will subtract our 
opening image which will consist only this white bigger object from our original this image okay as a result what will happen all the white objects this and the opening image will nullify each other but this small small white will be remaining and as a result we will be getting this okay let us check whether we are achieving the same from theoretical concept or not same code i have taken rgb to gray i am read capture.jpg i am taking directly image from wikipedia converting to gray color and this is our original image let us check once okay so this is our original image all right and then title is original image then we are taking our structuring element as disk performing erosion and dilation there is image opening and then i am showing out my uh, opening image okay so let me just write here image after opening okay right so what we will get we will be getting only those bright colored white objects as we are getting from the theoretical discussion also now if we subtract this one from this one what will happen all the white colored bigger one will be removed and all the small background will be left that's all so here i have done subtraction and then i am show eg image after erosion and dilation okay so here the title the better to write image after top hat transformation all right and then i can adjust the uh, contrast okay to increase the contrast i have used this i am adjust if you want you can ignore this line no problem in that okay so let me just remove this also and give the title as image after contrast enhancement all right let us check whether we have achieved our target or not see how beautifully we have achieved our target this is our original image when you are performing erosion only this bigger white objects will fit in that and all the small white objects will be simply removed then we are performing dilation because all the white objects due to erosion they also will shrink little bit so we'll be converting those to original image as you can clearly see this white object and these are of same shape now we'll be subtracting this image after opening from original image and as a result we are getting that this is nothing but result of top hat transformation but we can increase the contrast using im adjust and we'll be getting this now you can clearly understand how beautifully we are getting only small small white color object which is actually our aim for this particular experiment see now study the case study as in we are only in interested in small blobs okay of the image and we want to remove the large brighter brighter object in this case white top hat transformation can remove large bright, brighter object and retain small blobs by selecting the size of structuring element that is between removed object and object of interest okay that's what we have done so i hope these two case studies you have understood very very important for project component in digital image processing or digital signal processing i'll be posting both the course in the description box if you want you can check and use for your project thank you for watching